So an interesting um, point is that the skin is the largest organ in the entire body. And it's a functional organ. The shifts in hormones or whatever is going on biologically triggers the change in the amount of collagen that's produced in the skin. So as a result, skin starts to thin progressively from 30s and beyond. So what we end up seeing is patients starting to show more lines and wrinkles and more elasticity in their skin. So things start to, to, to sag downward, etc. One of the other really important aging related changes that occurs with skin is during our youth, all of that sun that was soaked and, and translated to a beautiful tan in our teens and 20s has been absorbed in the skin's memory and as time goes on it begins to translate to increasing amounts of pigment that are produced and these pigments create blotchy browns and, and reds along the face and then creates a complexion that is no longer smooth homogeneous looking skin now the skin ends up looking like a roadmap of different variations on it those are the changes that occur with time and at the end of the day what we try to do is um, increase the thickness of the skin with with products and and treatments and decrease the amount of pigment that are produced with products and treatment. That's overall the, the methods that we use to improve skin. Thank you.